Hey, Dr. Coleman, can your brain heal after years of opioid use? Can it heal fully after years of opioid use? Absolutely, and not quite. It's sort of a nuanced answer. You know, the brain has an amazing capacity to heal, so I really think it does heal fully. But I think it also stays somewhat vulnerable to relapse uh, at any point in the future. You know, the brain has an amazing capacity to heal. We see patients who have had a stroke where they just can't even walk their right arm and their leg just won't move at all. And then you see them uh, a year later and they're walking, you know, almost normally. Maybe not 100%, they can't run a marathon, but they're pretty darn close. Well, the brain is like that. And when you think about other addictions like nicotine addiction, you know, people stop smoking and after five or 10 years, they just don't even think about smoking. We see people in long-term recovery from opioids who aren't having any cravings, they're not, uh, they're not thinking about it, they are, they, they are fully in long-term recovery and they're staying uh, completely normal and completely well. So I think it does heal fully. One of the models that I like using though is it's a little bit like a scar on your arm. If you were to have a big cut on your arm, the skin heals, but it still remains vulnerable to being opened again or to it's not quite as strong as the skin around it and so you've got to be careful and one of the most powerful things about opioids is that the memory triggers and the 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 the, the way the brain remembers how good it felt when it was on the opioids remain strong so we do see people relapsing off opioids at probably a higher rate even after long periods of abstinence if they don't work a good program and aren't incredibly careful so Recovery from opioids requires lifelong vigilance. Does that mean you have to worry about it all the time? No, it just means you have to work your program and be careful.